Hello guys, here's Jimac with another Battlefield Bad Company 2 commentary. Um, I was going to do something fresh and new, but then um, uh, for for uh, all of you new subscribers that Jake guys are sent over my way, thanks mate. Um, but then, you know, I'm too busy. <laughs> I'll just do the commentary over uh, some footage that demonstrates Giuseppe's flying skills and I just, you know, rank up some skills as a gunner. That's essentially what this is. Uh, to my uh, uh, defense, uh, to my... What's the... What's the freaking... Expression... To my defense? No, there's a, there's a better word than defense to my... Credit? Never mind. So, um... We are actually playing um, in smaller numbers, so I did try to push forward this infantry, but we just got owned, so you know we just figured, yeah, Giuseppe was playing, so why not use his excellent flying skills? And since there may be some of you guys that haven't seen his his landing procedure. So in with with uh, surgical precision, he always tries to sneak in and land on the vats, so that if somebody's on the vats, he suicides. And he definitely, well, as you can see, not always works. There is some risk involved. And uh, I've been at some games with Giuseppe where, um, well, actually one. <laughs> I've been to a game with Giuseppe where we got placed. Uh, in different teams, that was a very lucky win here. I uh, did not aim very well. Um, so we played against him, and it's possible just to sit on the vats and, and mow him down. If there's not a person sitting behind a UAV, you can still take him faster. The vats is just—it's a beastly weapon, so you can take him down before he lands on you. But I've been thinking. Uh, I haven't actually tried it, but I think if we just placed, it, it didn't occur to me uh, during the gameplay, but if we just placed the mine next to the vats, I think that would solve the problem of him landing on it all the time. So if we ever piss you off by raping you from the sky, just put a mine next to the vats and you'll be, you'll be all fine, I think. Anyway, um... I have like 12 minutes to talk about stuff. Um, if you know me, I will talk about 100 things and never really um, get anywhere. But um, let me try. Battlefield 3. Of course I'm looking forward to it. Of course it looks amazing. But we haven't seen a single minute of console gameplay. So it's all, you know, beastly PCs showing, you know, ridiculous gameplay, but, you know, they can do ridiculous. They got the horsepower. How is it gonna work on our crappy little machines? Uh, we'll see. I, that, well, you know, I have my, um, I take all the visuals with a grain of salt because you know it's fresh it looks really awesome to you they can put some you know look at look at Don Blink's uh, um, Battlefield Bad Company 2 videos they look amazing with the uh, motion blur on top and, and sharpened and everything so I mean of course of course the frostbite engine is amazing but you know you can there's a perception of the visuals is always um, let me say that uh, they got a really nice uh, oh this was funny um, because Giuseppe doesn't really uh, uh, speak uh, English we didn't really communicate with Lundanerpa uh, Lundanerpa uh, sorry I'm bastardizing your name man we, we played so many games and I still can't pronounce it properly anyway so um, they did a really nice launch. I mean, they, they've been teasing us. Uh, EA been or Dice have been teasing us. Well, EA probably uh, have been teasing us from what uh, March or something. 
and uh, so yeah, they, they do really great job on marketing things. And they're gonna probably screw us over uh, when the game's out with I don't know what. They're gonna figure out something, um, but you know, uh, the game will look amazing. The the map that they showed is not really my cup of tea because you know I do like vehicles but uh, I'm a little worried about the choke points on the ground and people sitting behind you know, trash cans I hope they are really destructible and not as has been reported <laughs> um, destruction I want destruction I want destruction and that that little bit when uh, the um, the wall of the building above you gets hit by an RPG and the rubble falls down on you and you fall back, I really hope that that doesn't actually kill you. That um, that is another mechanic of of how you know, people complain about smoke, and uh, I actually love smoke and how you can use it to your advantage. And I I wish you know falling rubble falling buildings uh, would be used as another mechanic so people like Jay Kaiser would not you know be running around quick scoping you you would just take down the building next to them and it would right, knock them down and then you could shoot an RPG into them all the things that they hate yeah let's let's use them because um, this is the battlefield uh, okay. it's about all kinds of people having fun, not just people like us who spend 500 plus hours in the game. And um, I'm I'm pretty hopeful that, that it's gonna be fun to play. I I fail here completely. You know I can't cover this. But look at it, like I empty three, finally take him out, and I'm like, I should have taken something something else than, uh, than armor, you can see that they have more players, um, but I stick with it and uh, it's actually good for me because you will see that we're gonna get like two times and the armor serves its purpose, but you know, um, warheads are also pretty neat, decent if you're a gunner, on the hint I get taken down embarrassingly here. Always check your surroundings, guys. Check your surroundings. Now, where was I with Battlefield 3? So, it looks amazing. I'm a little worried about the maps that they showed. But, all I really need is new maps to Bad Company 2. Seriously. I love this game. I love... The only thing that I hate is lag. That's like when I get frustrated. If I lose the gunfights that I know I should be winning, that really pisses me off, especially when the game kicks me from a reasonable game um, and then puts us you know, in this total lag town, I don't understand like, I've been playing with, with people from California with, with decent latency and then I joined some of these and uh, is it Japan or what? I, I really wish there was at least some basic location filler so that you wouldn't be joining games that I, I don't really you know, I I would prefer to have a preferred map and if that can't be uh, fulfilled just put me somewhere where it's decent but yeah so this is where the armor saves us and there's one more time where it does in any case, I I do hope that you know Dice um, makes a success with the game, but I'm sort of worried that Battlefield 3 will be too big. It's gonna be so popular that the infrastructure that EA is gonna throw at it will not be enough. That is my worry, and. Uh, Bad Company 2 didn't have any issues for me for when I bought the game. I wasn't. I didn't. Maybe. 
Yeah, I, I waited like a month before I picked the game up. Um, I, it's been a smooth ride, but I've been having difficulties uh, for about a month. And sometimes it's decent, but usually I got terrible lag. So if instead of saying uh, selling you know, two three millions, the ice goes goes to town with it, and uh, they make it modern warfare popular. I really hope it doesn't mean waiting for a decent game for for months. It may well be the first game that I actually pre-order. I'm still pondering because uh, I don't have experience with pre-ordering games and I definitely don't want to get stuck with a pre-order and uh, you know waiting for that shipment and people already playing it uh, and me just regretting not not picking it up at store or web store. We'll see. Um, I'm probably going to pre-order even though it is a ridiculous concept, uh, unless it's something like uh, what Blender Foundation does, where they actually finance the project from the pre-orders, and it's a you know it's not EA, it's, it's a small um, non-profit organization. Anyway. Uh, looking forward to Battlefield 3. I don't really have that much to say about anything, really. Um, so I'll just let you guys enjoy the rest of the clip. Those of you who joined in expecting really awesome videos, uh, I have to uh, apologize for <laughs> not having skills of the guy who sent you um, but you know you okay. can probably have some laughs watching my uh, my footage I definitely recommend you uh, go back and, and check out at least the, uh, the montages uh, all right so take care guys and have fun with bad company too you might uh, you might come back to it when uh, Battlefield 3 uh, fails. Haha, <laughs> just kidding guys. It's gonna be awesome. Alright, take care. Okay. Bye.